Hello there, this has been Farnier, or Benevolent Side of Quorum. Aliens and the Bible. Now, I've only watched the, um, well, one lecture by Gary Bates and, uh, Alien Intrusion, the video. Still need to get the book at some point, but, uh, the video probably covers most of the points there. Anyway, um, yeah, this is mostly good on that because it's like it, even if aliens did exist it wouldn't mean that it's necessarily evolution since spontaneous generation is absurd so you know it would just be that God created it elsewhere kind of thing you know that's there's multiple ways to interpret the evidence just because something exists doesn't mean it has to build itself but um, yeah the technology thing though I don't think that's correct because I see it this way if humanity had passed the test in the beginning, the earth would fill up quickly. No one would be dying, so instead of all the wars and everything that's used to reduce population and all the other horrible things that everyone else does, you'd have no disease, no death. Humanity and all the animal life would very quickly fill it up, so there must be some way to spread out into the vast expanse of space, and that would mean FTL more than likely one or multiple methods are probably a thing and just because our current physics is not friendly to that except for like wormholes potentially and, and you need exotic matter for warp drive that doesn't necessarily exist but who knows there might be a way to do it maybe uh, some other way like uh, at the very least relativistic uh, you could have the echo lance uh, thing which is uh, like a multiple fusion drive type thing with a magnetic uh, net for a buzzard ram scoop rather than something else but uh, yeah there's ways to do everything even uh, the um, what was it three percent the speed of light for the Orion space battleship thing that could they would have it mostly around earth but you can get up three three percent the speed of light even with technology back in 1957 and uh, you, know, you could have small colonies at least, uh, whether on planets that you may or may not have to terraform or just building structures like O'Neill cylinders and whatnot out of asteroids and other systems. But uh, you know, it's not impossible to get there. I'm thinking I even subluminal wise we could have had the technology developed back in the 1950s and 60s and if there weren't world wars and that we're all focused on space travel we could have way more done throughout the solar system and outbound ships already instead we have just a whole bunch of crap either way they're subluminal and I believe if humanity if Adam and Eve had passed the test in the beginning we could have had FTL probably we might still be able to but uh, they, it would have been a way to you know immigration that's the only way to deal with overpopulation have everyone spread out fill everything and bring life and order to it rather than just that we don't have any claim on any worlds other than our own but if they're empty and they probably are empty then you know make them useful make them into places for life even though earth is the only place that's meant to you know earth uh, it's not a waste place, uh, but eventually, you know, someone will turn the world into a desert. But, uh, it's either way. There should have been a method. There might still be one. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, that is... This is not the best way to say it's impossible, because there's going to be physics eventually found to do that. More than likely, I think. I could be wrong, I'm just throwing guesses and I'm a nobody, so who cares about that, right? Either way, that's not the best way to go about that, saying it's impossible with current physics, you know, when we could have already had subluminal travel. Now, the the uh, demonic space fairy crap, though, those gray things, those are probably demons, though. Uh, what they do is kind of horrible, and they are also rebuked in Jesus' name, so those are probably demons. That's... or, um... At the very least, either they're some kind of contrived thing, or they're they're actually, if they're real, they're probably demonic, and they're probably interdimensional. Um, I do not agree with 
everything Timothy Alberino says, but he's right about the whole interdimensional thing. If you have interdimensional travel in this universe, which is how the demons would be getting to us, then, you know, interdimensional from one dimension to another, you can do that within this universe, too. And that's another way of FTL. So, yeah, that sort of contradicts the technology route of denying the possibility there. Now, yeah, the, the big bug-eyed uh, gray humanoid things, those are going to be demonic, more than likely. But, um, now the salvation and aliens route, that is contradicted by the existence of angels. What salvation is there for angels? If they fall, there's no getting back up kind of thing. And there's, you know, there's... Do parrots exist? I mean, it sucks that parrots have to go through the whole fall of creation along with us. They're Edenic creatures, even though they're not mentioned in the Bible, they're still very cool birds. But, uh, you know, do hamsters exist? I don't recall them being mentioned either. I don't think aliens exist. I think space is empty and it was meant for us to fill it. We're not given any particular claim on anything apart from this earth, but it would follow the same type of thing as the Dominion Mandate, which is, you know, spread out, fill the earth, subdue it. And that was before Genesis 9, where we're given permission to see everything as plants. So it would have been not a tyranny as it is now, but something that would be, you know, caring for every creature, bringing life in order rather than horrible death everywhere. But, uh, yeah, either way, angels exist. They're not the aliens, the gray things, unless the, you know, fallen angels would be those. Or at least there's some type of hologram between dimensions, maybe, or something like that. The same as ghosts. That would be my guess, anyway. Either way, yeah, this is just the technology route. I think that's the worst one there, though, because just because it's not currently friendly doesn't mean there's not a route when better physics is discovered and I think if we had passed the test we should have been able to fill everything uh, but as for whether aliens actually do exist I don't think they do I think you know I, in my fictional book that I'm gonna write eventually falling into space it, turning my short story falling into space into a book it's going to have, you know, scientists from before the flood uh, making subluminal craft, maybe out in Proxima or Tau Ceti or something. But uh, they'd just be humans that are way out there being like, uh, to heck with this place because of all the violence. Not like, you know, Noah, they wouldn't have the, uh, the seed that would lead to Christ. So there just would be other humans descended from Adam if... But uh, that's just going to be for a fictional story, not meaning anything real. It would be cool if there's humans out there, but who knows what that would be like if anyone were to run into them eventually again, but if they exist. But probably everyone was destroyed in the flood. It is likely enough, you know, just with the chaos and whatnot, not much was able to get done, but anyway, though, yeah... And here's the whole we don't need that thing probably, right? Either way. You know, angels exist. Animals exist. And everything subject to the fall. Yay. But, um... Either way. It's like... It is sort of just setting us up for failure whenever something is brought like that. Now, as for the Timothy Alberino stuff, the birthright stuff does sort of make sense for, as for, like, uh, demons trying to make uh, some way to get rid of the seed of the woman type thing. But, uh, I don't know if that's that or just, you know, the devil just messing with things just to mess with them. But, uh, you know, angels and animals exist. If God created aliens, they're there somewhere if they are 
but they probably wouldn't be the gray things those are probably just demons messing around with everyone either way yeah the technology route that's just that's just bad and it's pretending that there's nothing to be done there too but I don't know so yeah yay for losing friends and subscribers what to do this is just speculation of course and you know, there wouldn't be salvation for aliens, there wouldn't be salvation for angels, and animals would be under grace. Of course, everyone thinks the Nefesh Kaya, you know, living souls, don't have souls. They're just pretended to be plants by everyone who eats everything. Because we're given permission, and if you have permission, everything's right, right? This segment of time is going to be over, and then in Isaiah 11 and 65, It'll be back to the Edenic model again for eternity. At the very least, you have a thousand years of everything being renewed, and then a new heavens and new earth type thing with no more death. And you can't have all those corpses and still have no death. Unless you just think it's no death of humans, but plenty of death of creatures that you see as plants. So, whoop de doo though. But, yeah, there's no salvation for aliens. Okay, there's no salvation for angels. There's no salvation for animals. So what? God it made us in his image, and we have salvation through Christ. The other things, if they exist, wouldn't be. But, you know, just ruling things out because it doesn't fit perfectly is just setting one up for failure because at the very least you know there's going to be some kind of deception probably if not like blue beam by humans then by the devil later when the nephilim are returning or whatever that is if that's a thing like uh, the feet of iron and clay if that refers to them but uh anyhow yeah let's be done with this and lose more friends and subscribers we have to do it's all speculative though just things you can't know for certain and everyone always bludgeoning each other with bandwagon mentalities so take care everyone and try not to go crazy